Hey guys, we're here to talk about Russia and Yulia Samolova is back. So she was meant to represent Russia in Ukraine last year, but as we all know, it didn't happen. There was lots of speculation that she would be coming back for Russia this year. Lots of ifs, whens and buts, but finally it's been announced by Eurovision TV and Russian TV uh, that she is back. So Elliot, what are your thoughts? I'm glad, first and foremost. I feel like she didn't give the broadcaster an option because she has been publicly saying she's been working hard, she's got songs ready, she's getting staging sorted, like she has given them no reason not to select her. I'm glad she's getting her moment because she deserved it last year, you know, she's just a singer who wants to sing at the end of the day and it did put a damper on the whole contest. So yeah, I'm glad she's doing it and hopefully I enjoy the song as well. Up to you, Jess. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm happy for for Yulia, because I mean, you know, last year was a bit unfair on her, kind of at the last minute, them just saying, oh, sorry, you can't go. Um, I'm not really, I'm a little bit surprised because if I'm being honest, I didn't think Russia would stick to their word and actually send her. And I thought it was all kind of political with Yulia. So yeah, I'm kind of happy for her. But I do agree with Elliot that she was kind of, I feel like she was pushing the broadcaster to kind of be like, okay, I'm ready now. Send me, please. <laughs> Let me go. Yeah. I'll yeah. Be- but I do, like, I do feel like, you know, if it wasn't, like, if the whole kind of, you know, situation didn't happen last year in Ukraine, probably I can't imagine that Yulia would be Russia's first pick for Eurovision. So I do kind of feel like they're only sending her because they have to. It's a strange, Maybe. strange situation because I think if they didn't send her after what they'd said in the whole kind of furore last year, um, I think they would be seen as the bad guys yet again. Mm-hmm. My only hope, and I said this last year when they when they were sending her that she's not being used as a as a puppet, and I know there's uh, there's this issue with Ukrainians showing her performance on on TV because she's kind of blacklisted. So, you know, the game isn't over yet, unfortunately, but. For her personally, I'm happy she's going to finally get get her chance. I just hope she doesn't come with another "Flame Is Burning" song because I, I really didn't think that was a that was a good song. Hopefully, mm. they will they will put some you know decent producers, a good songwriting team behind them. We'll actually have something of, of a good standard uh, for Lisbon this year. But otherwise, I'm I'm happy and I'm happy for her that she's finally going to get her chance. I actually liked Famous Burning, so if she has something better, even better. Um, You know, I don't recognise the names she's been working with, but they seem to be like legitimate or big names, like they've worked with other big Russian stars, so I'm guessing that's a good point. She says she has her song ready, so I'm guessing we'll either hear it soon or maybe Russia want to hold on to it. It's going to be interesting. I just hope that it isn't a sympathy vote she gets and she gets voted Mm. on the song because it is a song contest and last time there was someone in a wheelchair I do feel that Poland put it on a bit heavy by cutting to the shots of her walking during her performance when if anyone remembers like there were shots of Monica walking and then it cuts her back in the wheelchair I just hope they don't try and go use that as a ploy for points because I do think that's unfair on Yulia and a bit of an you know using a disability as a tactic in a competition just seems Mm. a bit bizarre but i i'm going to give them more credit than that and hope they won't but hopefully the song is good enough we don't need it and they've been drawn in in the the kind of tough semi-final as well haven't they they've been drawn in semi-final two um so <laughs> lots of uh kind of very successful eurovision countries will be battling it out in in that semi um so i think she will need a really good song i disagree i didn't think flame is burning uh, was to a good standard, but <clears throat> each to their own. Everyone has their own, their own, their own preferences. Um, Jess, anything more from you? Um, no. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, I mean, with regards to the song, um, I'm with you on this, Andy. I didn't like Flames Burning. Um, for me, I just found the song like a boring ballad. But, you know, it's just my personal opinion. So, you know, I'm hoping for something big, you know, because obviously they've got to stand out in their semi. 
which could be quite difficult. So, yeah, just give her something big and powerful and awesome and amazing. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, how do you feel about Yulia Samoylova coming back for Russia this year and performing at Eurovision finally in Lisbon? Don't forget to let us know in the comments down there where you can also subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to follow us on social media. You can also give us your reactions and comments on those channels. Otherwise, until next time, guys, see ya. Bye. Bye.